Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I want to share a message of hope and encouragement, inspired by the Word of God. Our theme is Leaving Lodabar, Embracing God's Abundant Grace. Let us turn our hearts to 2 Samuel 9 verses 1 to 13. Let's begin at 2 Samuel 9 verse 3 from the King's James Version of the Bible. In the biblical narrative, Lodabar represents a place of desolation and lack. It's a place where Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, lived a place that mirrors the brokenness and limitations in our own lives. Just like Mephibosheth, we may find ourselves in Lodabar, a place of shame, fear, or stagnation. But the good news is that our heavenly king, much like David, is searching for us in our Lodabars. He desires to extend his kindness, just as David did for Mephibosheth. In our brokenness, God's grace reaches out, inviting us to leave behind the desolation of Lodabar and enter into the abundance of his love and provision. 2 Samuel verse 9, chapter 13 reads, So Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem, for he did eat continually at the king's table, and was lame on both his feet. When Mephibosheth left Lodabar, he entered a new season of abundance. He dined at the king's table, experiencing a level of provision and grace beyond his wildest dreams. In the same way, God invites us to leave our spiritual Lodabars and come to his table, where there is abundant grace, mercy, and love. The event that caused Mephibosheth to leave Lodabar was David's gracious invitation, which transformed his life from a place of desolation and obscurity to a position of honor and abundance in the king's court. This story is a beautiful illustration of God's grace and redemption in the midst of our brokenness, our lameness. Truth is brothers and sisters in Christ, in the biblical story, Notice that Mephibosheth exited Lodabar still lame. In fact, his expectation was to be punished by King David. Yet when Mephibosheth received the grace of God through King David, the company he kept changed. Mephibosheth, though lame, will no longer be in isolation. In fact, he will sit among royalty. Trust in God's grace for your deliverance. God's goodness and mercy rest upon you as you leave Lodabar. Beloved, God's grace is calling you out of your Lodabar. It's time to leave behind the brokenness and embrace the abundant life God has prepared for you. Remember the words of Psalm 34 verse 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good and blessed is the man that trusteth in him. May you taste and see the goodness of God as you leave Lodabar and enter into the fullness of his grace. Amen.